couple of years, I've gotten increasingly interested in sauna. It is one of those modalities that I think it gets really confused and people think that it's all just about sweating, when in reality, there are so many incredible benefits that extend all the way from, of course, the inside out and in including our skin. I was able to get Jessica, the VP of product at Higher Dose on the channel to pick her brain and ask her about Higher Dose in general and also ask her about some of my very favorite products from them. If you are somebody who is passionate about your skin and your health, you're going to want to hear what she has to say about the benefits of sauna and what you can do to improve your overall health and wellness with sauna. So I do hope you will tune into this conversation. I'm going to roll it and I will see you on the other side. I am so happy that you're here with us today. Jessica, can you please tell us a little bit about yourself, introduce yourself, and tell us a little bit about the backstory of Higher Dose? Uh, yes. Hi. Uh, it's great to be here. I'm Jessica. I'm VP of product at Higher Dose. So I work on all of the product development, the research, um, designing everything that goes into bringing the products to market. And Higher Dose was founded in 2016 by Lauren Berlingeri and Katie Caps as a way to bring infrared saunas to the masses. So it started as a brick and mortar place in New York City um, for people to come and enjoy infrared, which is what brought the two of them together. It's a way to kind of release endorphins and we can kind of get into that later as well. And then from there branched into... Uh, consumer goods. So they wanted to take the idea of the infrared technology and get a wider reach. So to bring the benefits of infrared to people all over the country. And so they developed the infrared sauna blanket, which is a really portable, affordable at home sauna. You can roll it up and put it under your bed, bring it out whenever you want. It's a fraction of the cost and a fraction of the space. So that was the first uh, product market from higher dose. I'm really excited to get into talking about the sauna blanket, but I'd love to talk first about your LED offerings because I feel like it kind of came out of nowhere and your mask and the neck and deck, which I know is newer, are definitely my favorite. They're my favorite for the way that they fit and everything. How did that come to be? How did you transition from you know, sauna blankets and sauna and brick and mortar and come to make LED masks and the neck and deck and that kind of stuff. Well, so one of our product pillars is that it has to make you feel good right away. So it has to have these sort of instant feel good benefits immediately. So the same way that infrared sauna does that, you get that all, you also get that benefit from red light therapy. So one of the things um, that we knew we wanted was a flexible, a flexible medical grade silicone so that it could fit like a wide range of faces. It was adjustable. And we also added the third strap so that you would get the maximum amount of red light on your face, that nothing was escaping at all. So that was one of the things that we did when we were looking into making that so that it's like a flexible, easy, you can kind of walk around with it. We love to be active and multitaskers. So you can even do yoga and it's not going to fall off or you can kind of just lay around and use it. But it was something like the flexibility was a big thing and adding that third strap. So you weren't losing any of your red light um, were two of the really big things with the red light mask. Curious. I've thought for a long time with the various um, masks for decollete that, you know, they are pretty small. And so when yours came out, clearly that's the immediate differentiator, <laughs> you know, <Yeah>. like much <laughs> bigger. Where did that conversation, how did that happen that it ends up being so much bigger? Because to me, it's like, geez, this is what should have been all along. Like, it's so clear now that it's out and it is, I haven't seen another uh, deck mask that is anywhere near that big well so you know we had tried a couple of the sort of like industry standard sizes and we weren't getting our entire neck and so one thing too that you have to realize whether it's like the hair on your or like the skin on your scalp behind your neck all of that skin is also aging as well and it doesn't get the kind of attention it also doesn't get sunscreen as often and so we wanted to make sure that we were rejuvenating the whole front and back area and then also yeah it's like no matter you know i'm not a 
particularly, I'm probably like a pretty average size person, but even the standard sizes were so small that it felt like I wasn't really getting the kind of maximum coverage that I wanted. And, and we all felt that way. And so we wanted to make it larger so that it was covering more of your neck so that you're getting rejuvenation you know, 360 degrees around, and then you're getting more coverage here, and that you can also use it on other places like your back. So you're getting all of your back, and then you can put it on your stomach, and you're getting like your whole stomach. So we really wanted to increase the size just so that you could maximize your treatment area with just one device. The the actual LEDs are larger too, aren't they? I mean, then in the industry, are they the actual lights or are there more of them? There's more of them. So there's yeah. two diodes in each LED. So you're getting the red light, which is 630 nanometers, mm -hmm. and then you're getting near infrared, which is 830. So the 630 helps treat more of those topical skin cells. And also that's what activates your mitochondria. That's like charging up your skin cells like mm -hmm. batteries, which is helping them to function optimally on all levels. So even though the the talking points that we kind of point out are like increased collagen, less wrinkles, better skin tone, all of those are benefits, but that's because the cells themselves are functioning better. Right. And when the near infrared penetrates deeper into the skin is targeting those deeper layers and also helping to create those endorphins. So quick question. The brick and mortar store is still in New York City, is it not? Yeah. So we still have a flagship location at 11 Howard. And then we also have one at Modern House. So there's okay. still a couple different places you can go sauna in the city. And we have lymphatic drainage massages there and facial sculpting. So it's definitely a place to kind of go and recharge. It's great for like pre and post travel for sure. So speaking of that, let's transition into sauna. I want to talk about sauna. I, I, we were talking about this a little bit before, but I do think that a lot of people might think that sauna is simply something very simple. It's about sweating and maybe, you know, dropping water weight or something like that. Can you just explain a little bit about the benefits of sauna? And then once we talk a little bit more, I'd love how sauna translates from what we think of as a sauna into a blanket are the how do the benefits translate between the two yeah so i'll i'll talk about the full spectrum sauna first since that's kind of where we came from um so the full spectrum infrared sauna means that you're getting the light waves from 630 all the way through the far infrared spectrum so you can't see all these light waves that are that are em emitting this heat and penetrating your body. So one of the benefits of infrared sauna is that you actually get a deeper detox because the light is what's heating you rather than heating the air on the outside. Mm -hmm. So it triggers this kind of, I mean, don't get me wrong. Swedish sauna is also amazing as well. We're also fans of that too, but there's benefits that happen with infrared that we, that we love. And mostly that's the, the endorphins that you get. So it triggers the same processes that happen through exercise. So increased cardiovascular, you know, your blood flow is going, you're, raising your core temperature, you're sweating out toxins. And I know also like skin is a huge mm -hmm. thing that we love to talk about and like appeal to our vanity and like we're right there. And and when you do trigger all of these processes, it happens to, um, it triggers like an inside out vitality. Infrared also helps kind of stimulate your lymphatic system. So you're cleaning out all of those toxins, you're getting your body moving, you're getting your limb system moving, and that will ultimately rejuvenate all of your cells. Let's say someone's to use a sauna blanket. Um, how often should they use it to get the most benefit? I personally like to use mine three to four times a week. And then if I'm not feeling well, I will double up on that. And I actually just did, I did my infrared sauna blanket last night. And then I did full spectrum sauna this morning because I had a really intense workout. I like pulled something in my thigh. I don't know what happened <laughs> exactly. But the other thing with both the sauna blanket and the full spectrum sauna is recovery. So it really helps to kind of accelerate your recovery because you're relaxing your muscles, you're applying heat, you're getting things to relax, you're getting increased blood flow, which means means increased oxygen, which means accelerated healing. 
And anytime you're increasing your oxygen and your blood flow throughout your body, that helps your, not only your skin, but it helps your, your insides as well. So you're flooding your whole body with fresh oxygen to kind of make all of those systems function in a better way. So there's something too, that we call like sauna fit. Um, so a lot of times when people first start the, the sauna blanket, they might not sweat right away. So if you've ever gone to an exercise class and your neighbor next to you is not sweating at all and you're sweating profusely, that's kind of because we all kind of have these different thresholds for, you know, how open are our, our detox pathways? What are we naturally like when we're sweating? Do we tend to run hot? That kind of thing. And the more often that you sauna, the faster you will sweat. Mm -hmm. And the faster you will get those benefits. Actually, to get the benefits of infrared, you don't even have to sweat. So let's say you don't want to necessarily drench your entire body. You've got something to do, or you know that like you don't have time to completely cool down. Your body actually gets all the benefits of infrared, even around like 110 to 130 degrees, which might actually not make you sweat, but you're still... Mm -hmm getting that whole cascade of internal benefits. So the benefits from the sauna that you would like step into and close the door, the the sauna blanket, the, do those benefits translate right into that blanket? Like they are the same benefits? Yes. So, I mean, for the most part, you're getting it because it triggers all the same biological processes of increased circulation. You're raising your core temperature. You're igniting that full body sweat. The difference between the sauna blanket and the full spectrum sauna is the sauna blanket is far infrared heat. And the far infrared heat is what's giving you that really deep detox. Okay. So that's really the what we were really trying to, to get into there. And then also to have a full spectrum, you would have to have some visible, sure. some visible light waves coming through. So getting the far spectrum infrared in there was what really is gives you that kind of like endorphin rush, that sweating, that workout without the workout kind of thing. Right. So that's what you're getting when you're doing the doing the sauna blanket. And it's also really helpful for, you know, mood and recovery and sleep, like I had mentioned before too. And there and one of the benefits that I do find from from the sauna blanket specifically is that because you're not getting your head hot. Right. You can actually stay in there longer. And there is a lot of research that shows when you can raise your core temperature for a longer period of time, you carry over those benefits of mood for longer. Can, can you, I, I want to touch on hormesis because we talked about it just for a second. If you could kind of explain that, explain the benefits and give us a little bit more, because I definitely do think that there are a lot of people who watch who are interested in this and they would love to know the further, the deeper benefits of sauna. Well, so you know that expression, like if it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. That's kind of a similar thing, like where you were talking about where your body is like about to go through that fight or flight, and then you kind of transcend and you can stay through it and sit into your sauna and, and do a couple more minutes. And, and while you're doing that, you're triggering this whole cascade of, of processes in your body that help to start to get rid of cells that you don't need. You're also like adding energy to those cells. They're starting to function more optimally. So it's just a way that helps to build your immune system. It also helps with cellular healing. And then it also helps you to just feel more energized. So it's a great way to, um, yeah, build your immune system. Really, that's that, that's what happens when you do hormesis. And then you also build your heat shock proteins is that it helps you in the same way that doing something like a cold plunge does too. So that's another thing that we also love is we love the hot and the cold. So if you can take a cold shower after your hot sauna. Once you get out, you kind of do feel like you could take a cold shower. Like you're hot <laughs> enough that that actually does because right this second, a cold shower doesn't sound very appealing. But when yeah. you get, it's on a blanket, it actually kind of, it is shocking. <laughs> it is shocking. Yeah, it is shocking. And it's the same kind of thing where you're kind of like tricking your body into these moments that feel really extreme, but ultimately yeah. make you stronger. Right. Um, but the same. So also another thing too, that we like to do, which is something else that we had put out as our copper dry brush. Oh, yeah. So that's 
third tool that helps stimulate your lymphatic system and is a, is a great thing to do right before you go in the sauna or right before a shower. But it's kind of like a lo-fi way to activate that lymphatic system and prime your body to kind of accelerate that detox when you go into to the infrared sauna. So, so that is my favorite dry brush. I have actually, I, I, for a couple of years now, can you explain the benefits of the copper in the brush? Yeah. So a copper, I mean, a, a lot of, um, a lot of people know that it has antimicrobial, uh, properties as well. So it's kind of like a nice self-cleaning thing in addition to generating negative ions. So as the friction rubs against your skin, it creates negative ions, which is nature's natural charge. So the, when you're in the ocean or, you know, the, the way the air feels after a rainstorm, that's because there's a lot of negative ions that are being generated and, and it helps to calm your electromagnetic system. So we're exposed to so many positive ions through digital technology, cell phones, routers, all of that kind of thing. So it has a really nice calming effect. So in addition to exfoliating your skin and stimulating your lymphatic system. You're also giving yourself a sort of um, digital detox in a way. We're talking about this. So if you dry brushed, you did a sauna, you have an oil. So we have two oils, actually. I'll talk about the healing oil because that's the one that we've had a a little longer. And the healing oil is our sort of modern take on a castor oil pack. Okay. So castor oil packs, you know, that you can put it on your stomach and it helps to draw out toxins. It has all kinds of different benefits for your digestion and castor oil benefits for your skin. You know, we all we are pretty widely known and it's sort of like those ancient tried and true um, practices that we have in our life. Um, but one thing we wanted to do was amplify your detox experience in the sauna. So we started with a castor oil base, and then we added magnesium and capsaicin and cinnamon. So a lot of like different warming essentials into that, into our oil to use as a spot treatment. So it's not necessarily an oil that you would slather over your entire body, but you would use it to target your kind of like trouble zones. Ah. Um, So I love to put it on my stomach. So I put it on my stomach and my thighs, sometimes my butt, (laughs) or (laughs) if I have like a sore knee or a sore like joint or something, I'll put it on there as well. And then when you get into your sauna blanket, it really like turns up the heat. So capsaicin is the active ingredient in hot peppers, for example. Um, So that will help to increase that microcirculation and also help to increase the heat in those areas. And you sweat like crazy, but you also get like a a crazy endorphin rush. So I Mm -hmm. love the healing oil. That's one of my favorite things. So you're kind of like drawing out toxins with the castor oil. The magnesium also helps to kind of remineralize you as you're detoxifying, you're nourishing your skin. So it's kind of this like double push and pull where you're detoxing and then you're also hydrating and yeah. like really turning up the heat. Yeah. So you don't need to be in the sauna blanket for it. Like I also use it to exercise sometimes too. Um, but definitely in the sauna blanket, it's like amazing. So So can you tell me how, like, just how practically, how do you implement the sauna blanket in your everyday life? Because for me, I know that, for example, over the summer, I really didn't get it out very often. I I mean, I'm just going to be, I didn't. And honestly, the more I learn about it now, I'm thinking next summer, probably I will not skip it. But how do you, how do you implement that? How do you make it happen? What do you do when you do your sauna blanket? Uh, well, so I do use mine in the summer as well. And I actually think that because I use mine during the summer, I'm actually cooler generally, which I know sounds crazy, but, um, when I'm kind of like walking about in the normal sort of world and in the summer, I actually feel generally cooler and kind of have like an easier time of it. But my favorite way to sauna blanket is I put, I get a pillow, I lay on my floor, I'll lay down and I'm like a Netflix and chill kind of, or I guess you say a Netflix and sweat. So <laughs> I'll usually do that or a podcast. So especially if it's a podcast that I need to listen to for work, for example, or if it's something I've been researching and, and kind of want to know, learn more and listen more in a, in a passive way, I'll, I will sit in my sauna blanket and do that there. <laughs> Yeah, I love that too. And I like to multitask. I have gotten in the sauna blanket and then done a a, a dome LED 
And then sometimes I will do a mask. I will say that when I do a mask and I do the sauna blanket, it makes me sweat even more. I think it's just mm-hmm. all of the being covered. So um, I will do that just to multitask. I totally do the podcast thing too. And I feel like that while the sauna blanket is heating up, that's when kind of the, the podcast or the Netflix comes comes in handy because it's like, you know, you. It, I don't know. We just don't take very much time very often to do nothing. That uh, doesn't mm-hmm. not happen very often. And even if it's passively learning about work or studying for work, it still feels less like stressful because you're doing yeah. this other thing that's kind of self, well, not kind of, but is self-care. I, I love this discussion so much. I'm hopeful that you will come back because obviously Higher Dose has, you have my very favorite PEMF. I have had the mat in my office and religiously I will take 10 minutes and lay on it during the day. And I have to say, and I know we're not talking about PMF, but I'm going to share this because we're going to talk about it another time. My husband is a huge, um, he is a naysayer and he, his hip was bothering him. And I said, just please go lay on that mat, go lay on the mat. I'm going to turn it on. And I turned on, you know, all of it. And, uh, He laid on it for a while, I mean, like 30 minutes. And um, afterwards, he's like, "Um, okay. And days and days and days, he's like, hey, I want to lay on that mat. Can you turn it on for me? And I'm like, okay, that says something. (laughs) And then my father-in-law, who is my husband's father, so the apple doesn't fall far, he also hurt his back. And I took the go mat, the PEMF go up to his house. And I said, listen, dad, just sit on this mat. Just, Just hear me out and sit on it. And I left it there with them. And about two weeks later, he returned it and he's like, that thing works. <laughs> I'm like, mm-hmm. I know. And he's really a naysayer. And so I just think that it's, um, I think that that tech is so cool. So I'm just going to tease that out there because that is something I hope you'll come back and we can really dive into because it is a, um, it's a modality that I think is pretty exciting. I agree. Yeah, I would love to come back and talk about it. It's definitely worth a deeper dive. So big time, big time. (laughs) Well, I really, really appreciate your time here. And I know there's going to be some questions down below. I will collect them, pick your brain later, have you back if you will. And uh, I hope that you have a really wonderful holiday. Great. Thank you. You too. It was great to see you. (laughs) Wonderful. Talk to you later. (laughs) Bye. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that discussion. If you have any questions, please do leave them down below in the comment section. I feel like this is one of those brands to watch. They're innovative. They have so many things in the coming years planned. You are going to want to tune in and pay attention because I think that they're going to be a brand to watch for sure. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care.